Hi, Bonnie. How are you? Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm doing great. How are you? Thank you. I am uh, good. I am working with the Infobae. is the most important media in Spanish around the world. But congratulations, it's the first time. Uh, but is uh, what do you feel now after the AVE event and the, your work, your new job? No, is the Miss Universe around the world, your message? What do you feel right now? Yes, it is a new job. I am completely honored that I have this opportunity. It's a dream come true. I'm extremely excited. I'm so happy. I've barely slept, but I'm just running on adrenaline and happiness. I mean, I just can't believe it. I'm still in shock. It's still sinking in, but this is an opportunity of a lifetime and I want to make the most of it. Did you have a lot of stress, uh, uh, Bonnie, in, in the... In the event, day event, but is the before preparing? Did you have a, a stressing? Uh, what do you feel in this time, in, <laughs> in, in, in the past time or this, this, this event? Oh, absolutely. I was so stressed yeah, leading up to the competition before I actually checked in. I, I won Miss USA and then had three months to train for Ooh. Miss Universe. So I, I was stressed about the timelines. I was stressed about gowns and, you know, styling and getting everything done and um, just continuing to fulfill my duties when I was Miss USA. And I put a lot on my plate. So I was definitely stressed. But actually, after I checked in and was at the competition, And I felt an uh, ease of mind and I just felt so happy to be there, I had done all the work, I did all the hard parts and it was really about enjoying uh, every day there because it was such a great opportunity. And um, yeah, I got a little nervous and obviously stressed for, you know, interviews and preliminaries and finals, but at the end of the day, it was overall a great experience. Yeah, I know. Is, is, is the final, the, the World Cup, or, or is, is the Super Bowl no, for you? Is the amazing, is this time decision? I, I know is the very stressing, stressing <laughs> time. It's amazing your, your dresser, uh, the, the representative in the United States with the world. It's too much weight, no? It's amazing. <laughs> no, <walking. laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> what is this decision you designer you um, your team uh, what, what is the, the 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 decision about this dresser is the image united states image or representative for the national costume yeah the national costume Yes, yeah, so I chose to go with Woman on the Moon. I actually wanted to celebrate how America was the first to send a human to the moon. Yeah. And now America is actually working on sending the first female to step foot on the moon. They're actually working on it at the NASA Space Center, which is in my hometown of Houston, Texas. Yeah. So I really wanted to celebrate that, being it from my hometown and that the future is female. And, you know, we just continue to break down barriers as females uh, what, what uh, did, you, did you say your uh, neighbors no, your family uh, you you can talk with the uh, uh, her family and uh, what, what what do you receive this message a lot of I, I am thinking but this what do you <laughs> what do you think in the in the this time uh, talking about your neighbors and your family uh, bunny You know, my neighbors and my family and friends, they are so happy. They A lot of them told me they cried or they screamed when I won because, you know, they know me personally and how I've always been extremely hardworking and focused. And they always thought, you know, I had something special in me or there was something big that was going to happen in my life. They had a feeling of that. So it just feels so good that this finally came into fruition and everybody's really excited and extremely supportive. Mm. I'm very uh, what uh, what is your challenge in this uh, time of year no the, this this year what is your challenge You know, I just this is I just want to be the best represent representative for the organization. You know, I've heard it's very challenging because it's a demanding job and at times you don't sleep a lot. And I'm somebody that likes to put so much on my plate. So I take a lot in for my lifestyle. I put a lot to do in my day. And sometimes I challenge with being too much of a perfectionist or trying to do so much. I'm a little bit hard on myself because I just want to be the best at all times. So sometimes I have to remind myself to just take a step back. 
back. You know, if I make a mistake, I'm a human being just like all of us. And at the end of the day, we're just always trying to do better and better. And that's all we can do. Um, in this time, oh, well, I am from uh, Argentina, is uh, Hispanic, but did you enjoy any nice moments during the competition with the Miss Venezuela and Miss Dominican Republic is Hispanic people representative? Yes, Miss, Miss Venezuela and Miss Dominican Republic, I have a huge, a great deal of honor and respect mm. for these women. To be standing with them at the top three is a complete honor. I know they have worked very hard, just like other, all the other women. And actually, when we got to the top three, we went backstage. I think it was during commercial break. And I turned to both of them and I said, you know, no matter what happens, I, I respect both of you because I know you're very hardworking and no matter what happens I'm sending you blessings in your life and I, I really connected with Miss Venezuela because United States and Venezuela is right next to each other alphabetically so her and I were together a lot that girl is always on she's always working she's you can tell how much of a heart she has for this because she's always very focused in Dominican Republic the same thing very focused and you you know, I'm glad to have met them because I'm inspired by women like that. And I hope to connect with them even after this competition is over, because yeah. like I said, they're, they're very inspiring to me. I know. I've had this uh, together every time, working, preparing, <laughs> I know. Uh, can we talk about empowerment, uh, women this time? What is the, what do you think is the things important in this time, empowering women? is a little change, no, the Miss Universe, no, it's only... A beautiful woman is only a fashion. No, it's connecting with the empowering, uh, is the entrepreneur woman. What yeah. is your message for the this time empowering woman in the in the world, um, Bunny? Well, women empowerment is one of the core messages of the Miss or Universe organization. And I can talk about firsthand how it has empowered me. You know, it really helped me face my fears of going on an international stage and being vulnerable, putting my best foot forward, being able to speak under pressure is very empowering. And it really gave me and all the other delegates an opportunity to showcase our strengths and our messages as women, whether that's a cause we care about, or, or whether that's the work we've done in our communities, in our country. I mean, for me, I'm a fashion designer. I'm using fashion as a force for good. I push sustainability and I work with women that have survived from domestic violence and human trafficking. And the organization has allowed me to bring that to light. And that in itself is extremely empowering. Um, the last question, Bonnie, I thank you for your time. Uh, is the message for the younger girls? No, is, you know, uh, the younger girls is the start the life, uh, mm -hmm. is the a lot of uh, message in the social media, uh, confused uh, for the body, for the beautiful, for the future. Uh, yeah. One message for the, the younger woman in around the world in general. My message for young girls is do not try to impress your friends. Do not try to impress your family. You want to impress yourself. First and foremost, be the coolest person to yourself. I know when I was a little girl, I would look around the room and I would try to dress a certain way or talk a certain way or do my hair a certain way because I saw a girl next to me doing it. And it was a comparison thing. So even on social media, we are always comparing. But at the end of the day, we're comparing and we're doing these actions or maybe wearing our hair a certain way to impress other people. But you really need to ask what am I going to do and impress myself? How will I be the best girl? How will I be the most beautiful for me, not for anybody else? And, you know, that will take you very far in life. Thank you for your time. Thank you, your producer. Uh, Press Connect in relation uh, is the amazing organization, Miss Universe. Thank you. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Que <laughs> gracias. Bye.